Okay, so today I am going to show you how to get rid of your bad breath. Now, um, the first part of this video is going to be really quick because I want to show people how to do it and get rid of it. Fast, quick, easy, and simple. Then I'm going to explain further in the video. Those are for the people who want to learn further. Um, some people would watch the video and they would say, Oh, this video could be under two minutes. And yeah, um, it could be under 30 seconds, to be honest. Um, but some people want to learn further. Some people... There are different aspects of learning, and also people are curious about things. Um, for instance, like they wanted to know how it works. Uh, some people want to know how it works. Some people don't know one wants to know how it works. So, within under two minutes, I'm going to tell you how to get rid of it. And then I'm going to explain, afterward, I'm going to explain the concept of getting rid of bad breath, okay? This is including garlic, coffee, um, onion, um, eating bitter stuff. Like, for instance, when you eat, uh, uh, when you drink lemon or lemon juice, lemonade, um, tea. Um, because depend on the body, okay, you have to remember that, 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 that each person's body is different. And the reason why we have bad breath, bad breath is actually a signal of the liver. It's being overwhelmed. And what happened is it sends out a, an agent to deflect that. So it's actually bad breath. It's actually a defense system. It is not actually causing by things or blah, 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 blah. Like people said that this is caused by this and caused by that. No, it is actually caused by a defense system in your immune system. Your body is actually sending out signals to warn you that they think it's poison. In reality, it is not. But because your body's rejecting, it pumped out an agent that actually makes your bad, your, your breath stinks. Now this, some people actually, there are people who actually get nervous having bad breath being nervous. Believe it or not, there are people who are fear would bring out their bad breath. There are people who are just tired and have bad breath. Um, there are various things, and but the thing is, because the, the 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 body comes out into a defense system, and it pump out this liquid that it produce liquid. This 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 liquid actually makes you think that you have bad breath. But it's actually, it's not it, it's not, uh, not it, absolutely not it at all. It's just a defense system in your immune system. That's it. Now, to get rid of it, all you need, it's actually baking soda. That's it. Okay. And plain water. Now, you need a bottle that actually you can shake. And all you need... It's about a quarter or maybe half a teaspoon, like that much right there. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Um, that's a little bit over, about three-fourths of a teaspoon. And I have it in here, which is almost 12 ounces. This is my orange uh, from Simply Orange right here. And I use it because it can shake really well. I'm going to show it to you. How I shake it, and it actually mix really well. Now, just, I shake it just like that with a few times. And you see that vortex? Funny thing is, I discover this from this, 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 um, this bottom. Look at that. 
See that nice vortex? So that's it. Mix it. Rinse your mouth with it. Okay? And in less than sa 30 seconds, your breath will be gone. Now, that's just temporary. Okay? What you need to do next, and this is on your own, of course. I'm not telling you to do anything, okay? Please remember that. And that is a disclaimer also in this video. Is that this is all on your own, okay? Consider this as entertainment purposes. And what I do, okay, to get rid of my bad breath. When I drink coffee, I get really bad breath. Is because my body is rejecting coffee. It thinks it's a poison, which it is kind of is. Believe it or not, coffee beans are actually poison beans, and that's why they roast them. And during roasting period, it actually burns the poison, so it's no longer poison. And that's why they roast them. Um, sort of like how wood, they are actually poison wood. But if you burn the wood and take the ash from it, there's no long, the poison doesn't no longer exist. But the body still have to reject that. The body actually reject that. Same thing with onion. Oh, by the way, that's it for this video. But I'm going to explain further on. If you, want, if you want to go further on to learn why this actually does this the way it is, then you can view further. But if you don't want to, the short the video was ended, okay? Just remember that. But anyway, um, all you need is baking soda, okay? Cheap, simple, 57 cents. I got this for 50, I believe it's actually 59 cents at the store. And it'll last you for months. Anyway, now I'm going to go further to the video. I'm going to explain. Um, when you eat, uh, when you drink coffee, uh, there are actually people who are actually um, on sugar. If you have a lot of sugar, you can actually have a lot of bad breath from sugar. Yes, there are people who uh, get bad breath from sugar. Um, next things would be um, onion, garlic, um, certain vegetables, like anything with bitter. There's a bitterness in them. Your body will reject. Your body think it's poison. Some people cannot have peanuts. Sort of like how people are allergic to it. Some people actually, the peanuts actually makes them into um, bad breath. Beans. People are actually having it. All type of beans. All type of beans would make them have bad breath. Um, so it is all dependent on the person, of course. Sort of like how uh, recently, or I believe about two years ago, I started to reject honey. My body started to reject honey. Anytime I start eating honey, my body, my throat would blow up and I won't be able to breathe. Sort of like how people having peanuts. All through all my life, I had no problem eating honey whatsoever. Next thing you know, boom. I was no longer able to have honey. So, and because I got stung, like, I believe, I don't know, I counted, I think four or six times because there was a nest around our pool and I didn't know, so I leaned over and I disturbed them. And that's what happened. So, after that, my body somehow got rejected. But funny thing is, they were yellow jackets. And here's the thing. Yellow jacket do rob honey from honeybees. So there has to be something tied into that. Because after that, I wasn't able to eat honey anymore. I believe because they, they stung me so bad because they were like, they stung me so bad that they actually left the needles. They flew away because I swat them and they actually left the whole needle onto my arms and my face and all that stuff. I believe it's a, I, I, I remember counting them. I'm not sure because they weren't, 
it was happening so quick and I had to pick them out. I remember picking four, but I believe I got stung six times. Anyway, I believe I picked out four needles that they left behind, but I got stung six times. So the other two must have got away or something. Anyway, um, so after that, I wasn't able to have honey anymore. Um, I started to notice that anytime I have honey, my throat started to close up. Um, that I can't breathe. And it's because what happened. So it was known, I guess it was known that uh, they do go out and rob, they do fly out and rob the, um, the honeybees' hives. Um, and that's why they have troopers and stuff trying to protect the hide. The, the 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 hive and stuff. Um, this is just speculation, of course. I don't. This is not one hundred percent sure. So please do not quote me on that. Anyway, um, so the reason why I'm saying this is, is is that I'm gearing towards things. Is that what happened? Is when I have honey, I actually have a lot of bad breath. I get from. Uh, uh, like instance, coffee, um, onions, anything bitter like lemon, lime, some orange juice, blah, blah, blah. Um, like I said, some people have actually peanuts, uh, any type of nuts, any type of beans, um, any form of beans. And, you know, of course, spices. Uh, certain spices actually would make a person's breath better and certain people doesn't it's because your body's rejecting once again I just want to emphasize is that your body's actually rejecting and that's why you have bad breath it pump out this liquid or um, a defense system in order to alert like it's sort of like counteract it sends out an army to counteract what you what it thinks is is is, is poison. You're being poisoned. Basically, that's what it is. Bad breath is actually not something that is actually bad at all. It is actually good. Bad breath is actually good for your body. It's bad for other people, of course, because they think uh, because they have to smell it. But it's actually good for your body. It's because it's pumping out a defense. It's like a, a, a like a warfare. Uh, that's how you would say it. Like you're playing video games and you have to beat then like a war. Anyway. So that's how that works. And by having, by having baking soda. And what baking soda, it actually neutralizes it. And that's why they use it to neutralize acid. It is sort of like a form of acid, but it's in a, a liquid form. And like I said, it's actually a, a defense system. And what happened is, in further detail, what baking soda does. What baking soda does is it actually neutralizes the acid. And that's what stopped it from 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 having a further bad breath. It is not the breath, or it's not that. It's your stomach that is producing the acid. Okay, it releasing the too much acid because it it stinks is poison. It has to come out and defend it, and that's why, and that's why baking soda um, neutralizes it. And all you have to do is drink this. Um, maybe a gulp. That's it. Okay, don't drink too much of it. Maybe a gulp of it. That's it. And that's all you need. And it will instantly, within less than 30 seconds, less than 30 seconds to a minute, depend on the body, of course. Mine takes less than 30 seconds. But your body might be taking 45. Your body might take in a minute. But within that minute... Your breath will be gone. Now, furthermore, if you have stomach upset, you don't need tums or anything. 
All you need is actually baking soda. If you've seen my other videos, I explain this in details. Okay, watch my other videos, I explain in detail. Is that during the fermentation period of your digesting the, the food, the food actually made the acid and gas. And that's why sometimes you burp. Okay? You burp or you fart. If you eat a lot of stuff like 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 uh, like cabbage and things like that, a lot of people or potato and you fart. That is because it makes a lot of gas. And that gas there during the fermentation period, remember if you've seen my other videos, I'll, I'll explain really short, is that when the food goes into your stomach, it goes into a fermentation stage. During that fermentation stage is the cell breaks it down and it multiplies and it eats it. It actually consumes the food and the nutrition, the waste, it's actually the one that you benefit from. The bacteria's waste is what you benefit from. And what happens is during that time, there's certain things the bacteria will reject. During the rejection period, you would have extra gas or your stomach is bloated, blah, 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 and your stomach getting upset is because there was too much of it. It's rejection time. And that's what happened. If you eat a lot of food, that's what you would get. Now, easiest way to get rid of that, all you need is actually baking soda. Okay, don't even drink any type of medicine, don't even drink calcium pills, blah, 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 all that stuff. That's just a waste of money. To be honestly, this is 59 cents at the store. Okay? And you can use this for a month and probably six months for 59 cents. Cheap, right? Well, let me tell you, all you need is plain water and a quarter to half a teaspoon. I fill it usually up to here with this little spoon right here. I wish I have a scale and I'd tell you how much it is. But that's all there is. And all you do is just drink maybe one to two gulp of your, if that fill your mouth. That's it. When you have stomach upset. Within less than a minute, I would say a minute because certain people act differently, your stomach upset will be gone instantly. Imagine that. The cheapest, quickest, and easiest way to get rid of stomach upset, bad breath, um, even like you would think that you have diarrhea, it actually... Late, if you drink a lot of this, you will have diarrhea because it's actually worked the opposite. So I would not suggest you to drink a lot of them. But you can drink a lot um, when you get a lot of, like, upset stomach. Like, if you eat certain food, especially people who are gl gluten, bread. If you eat a lot of bread, and yes, people actually have bad breath, bad breath with bread, too. <laughs> Imagine that. Um, tomatoes, spices, oregano, blah, 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 blah. Certain people, like I said, each person's differently. Each person will behave or your, their body process differently. Like, for instance, like I said, honey is actually now becomes a poison to me. My body rejects honey, but your body doesn't. So I like uh, how people would reject it. Peanut. Certain people do not reject peanut whatsoever. There's certain people cannot have peanut. They would die from that. So, nuts and shells. So, it's depend on the person, of course. And that's all there is. So, now, today, I'm, I showed, just showed you how to get rid of them. Fast, quick, easy, and simple. Get rid of your, 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 your stomach upset. Bloating. Um, uh, well, bad breath, of course. That's what this video is about. Mostly is about. Um, so if, and also too, it will keep your teeth clean. And white too. 
So what you can do is use another thing you can do is use this as a mouthwash before you brush. And then after you brush, clean it with that as well. That would also help. As you notice some 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 uh, most, not not all, most uh, toothpaste on the market have baking soda in them. It's because it neutralized the acid in the in the mouth, and that's why it is stopped. But this is to go further, and this is to help you further to get rid of your bad breath. In case, in case, like for instance, like you have to go to a party or a dinner or whatever, and you have to do this really fast, baking soda would be your answer. So all you need is a tub of water and measure it. Every 16 ounce is half a teaspoon. So if you want to make a big jug, you would have to get that formula and do it yourself. But like I said, half a teaspoon, that's it. For every 16 ounce, that's my formula. It could be yours, it could be not be yours. So I would suggest you to start out less. If you are planning to use this as a mouth rinse, then do it as a one full spoon. But if you're planning to drink it for stomach upset and bad breath to get rid of it really fast, or, oh, I forgot, drinking if you drink, if you drink, if you're a, a, a drinker. That would also help as well. Um, if you get upset from drinking beer or whatever, that would help. Um, if you are throwing up uh, because of food or beer or whatever it is, stomach upset, this would help as well. So it is a lot of benefit beneficial by drinking this, okay? But... As, I, as my disclaimers, this is for entertainment purposes only, and I am not responsible for anything. I'm just saying that it does neutralize the acid in your stomach. Um, I have been doing this for a whole year now, and nothing changes in my body. Um, but like, But your body needs to recycle, so I wouldn't do it too much. Uh, don't get addicted to it by drinking too much. You shouldn't eat anything. From my point of view, you shouldn't eat anything that um, makes you have bad breath because it's actually, that's a defense system telling you not to have it. Uh, but, of course, people are not going to listen. Um, and also, my video is about to run out pretty soon because uh, I've known that this camera has 26 minutes. Um, I got about four minutes left, three minutes left actually. Um, so anyway, um, I hope this helps somebody, and I hope this help a lot of people actually. It will help a lot of a lot of people. And all you need is actually baking soda. It's cheap, easy, fast, and and effective. Um, and also too, uh, when you are sick, you can actually drink baking soda as well. When you have a common cold and sick, you can actually drink that as well. Which I'm going to put in another video because I want to separate videos out. Um, because of the YouTube titles, uh, you can only put certain amount of character, blah, blah, blah. Unless people find this. So uh, I'm going to try to make segments of it so that way people would know what's what. But anyway, this video is about uh, bad breath. Uh, how to get rid of bad breath. Fast, quick, easy, and simple by garlic, onions, and coffee, and sugar, and nuts, and beans, and all the stuff. All the food that we eat that give us bad breath. Um, but anyway, um, I hope this is helpful, and I hope this will help you. Uh, oh, by the way, um, it will help you keep your teeth white too. Um, so anyway, there's a lot of benefit from this, but... And I said it once more time, do not drink a lot of it because it has to be researched, of course. Um, but like I said, my formula, my formula, I don't know about yours or anybody. My formula is one teaspoon if I'm going to use as a rinse for every 16 ounces. A quarter of three spoon or a third of, of one third of a teaspoon if I use as a uh, a drink. 
And I do that to stop me from having bad breath. Um, quick, fast, and simple. Anyway, that's about it on this video. And I will see you in the next.